In this video, we are going to show you how to assemble and disassemble the LSP500 ultrasonic processor configured in the flow-through mode. In the first part of the video, we are going to show you how to disassemble the system. To begin the disassembly, make sure the ultrasonic processor is turned off. Next, detach the ultrasound cable from the transducer. Make sure there is no liquid in the main working liquid lines. After that, disassemble the inlet and outlet connections by removing the clamps, gaskets and hoses. Next, remove the 1.5-inch clamp holding the horn in the reactor chamber. Raise the ultrasonic stack higher on the support stand. Remove the reactor chamber from the support stand. Disassemble the support arm from the reactor chamber by using an adjustable wrench. Next, remove the ultrasonic stack from the support stand. Remove the transducer's support arm by using an adjustable wrench. Insert the pin of the first spanner wrench into a hole in the transducer's front mass and hold it against the workbench to prevent counterclockwise movement. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench in a hole of the horn's input end and set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Tap the second spanner wrench with a rubber mallet to create counterclockwise torque while holding the ultrasonic stack in place with your hand. When the barbell horn turns with respect to the transducer, remove the wrenches and continue by hand. Next, remove the Mylar acoustic washer to make sure that it's clean of any particles or scratches. The LSP500 system is now disassembled. Now we're going to begin the assembly procedure for the LSP500 system configured in the flow-through mode. Inspect the Mylar acoustic washer for damage and place it over the connecting stud. If in doubt, replace it with a new one. Thread the horn all the way into the transducer's front mass by hand. Insert the pin of the first spanner wrench into a hole in the transducer's front mass and set it up to provide counterclockwise torque. Insert the pin of the second spanner wrench into a hole in the horn's input end and set it up to provide clockwise torque. Firmly press down with your palms on the wrenches using the weight of your body. Thread the support arm into the transducer and adjust the counter nut by turning it clockwise by hand. Tighten using an adjustable wrench. Secure the ultrasonic stack in the support stand. Connect the ultrasound cable to the transducer. Briefly activate the ultrasonic output to check the power reading. Deactivate the ultrasonic output and turn off the generator. To continue, we are going to place the reactor chamber on the support stand. We have the reactor chamber with the cooling lines pre-attached. The hoses are kept in place by cable ties. 
Thread the support arm into the reactor chamber and adjust the counter nut by turning it clockwise by hand. Tighten using an adjustable wrench. Secure the reactor chamber in the support stand. Lower the ultrasonic stack, bringing the tip of the horn concentrically into the reactor chamber. Loosen the upper clamp holder and align the side arms of the transducer and reactor chamber. Place the 1.5 inch clamp over the horn and the reactor chamber. Tighten the clamp and make sure you place it in such way that it's not blocking the inlet and outlet main working liquid lines. Tighten the upper clamp holder after adjusting its position if necessary. Briefly activate the ultrasonic output to check the power reading. Deactivate the ultrasonic output and turn off the generator. Assemble the reactor chamber's inlet and outlet hose connections. Use the half-inch clamps to secure the connections. The working liquid will be pumped through the bottom fitting, the inlet, into the reactor chamber and collected through the upper right fitting, the outlet. We recommend that you use adequate ear protection when operating the system. The LSP500 system is now ready for continuous operation.